Okay, moving on to the next topic, some functions and its graphs. So, we have different types of functions. You just have to know them. Okay, so the first function is going to be an identity function for which the function is going to look like f of x is equal to x. So, f of x equals x. Na. Whatever the value of x be, if x is 1, na, f of x is also going to be 1. If x is 2, f of x is also going to be 2. f of x is nothing but y. So, when we are talking about x axis and y axis, whenever the value of x is 0, y is 0. x is 2, na, y is also going to be 2. x is 4, na, y is also going to be 4. 6, 6. 8, 8 and so on with the negative numbers minus 2, minus 2, minus 4, minus 4, minus 6, minus 6, minus 8, minus 8 and so on. So, this is going to be your identity function. The graph is a straight line. Okay, such a function is called identity function. Here, the domain and range is going to be all R. It is going to be all real numbers. Okay, the Nadular fractions could you can consider. So, it is going to be all real numbers. Okay, so this is your identity function. Next, you have a constant function. Constant function and the function is going to look like this. So, f of x is equal to c in Gurdjikar, but sometimes we also write f of x is equal to k, k is the regular constant that we use. So, what does this mean? x order value 1 in r, f of x is going to be k, they have already given the value of f of x. So, whatever your value of x is, your f of x is going to be k, if x is 2 in it is going to be k, x is 10 in it is going to be k, if x is 10,000 it is also again going to be k. So, whatever the value of x is going to be, the value in that they have given 3, k order value they have given to be 3 in the graph here. So, k order value is 3 here, they have given f of x is equal to 3, okay. So, in here, whatever the value of x is, you will have the value of y to be 3 itself. It is going to be a constant. There is no change in the graph. Okay. The domain is going to be all real numbers, but range in a range is only going to be the number which is a constant. So, in this case, it is going to be c or k or 3, whichever you want to write. Okay. So, this is a constant function. Next, polynomial function. Polynomial na 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 So, whenever you have 3x square plus 2x plus 1, this is going to be a polynomial function. So, this is what is given here. You have f of x is equal to, this is a generalized way of writing, a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus and so on, a n x to the n, where a n should not be 0. If a n 0, now what is the highest order? It will be n minus 1. The highest order is going to be n, where n is non-negative integer and all these numbers belong to real numbers. They are all going to be constants. The function defined by f of x, so they have given some examples also here, okay? So, this is going to be your polynomial function. Now, let's move on to some example. So, example one, define the function f r to r, where f of x is equal to x square. Complete the table. Write the domain and the range. So, f of x is x square. So, let me fill the tablet column. So, minus 4, the whole square and minus square, it becomes positive. 4 square is going to be 16. So, 3 square is 9. Minus 2, the whole square is 4. Minus 1, the whole square is 1. 0 square is 0. 1 square is 1. 2 square, 4. 3 square, 9. 4 square, 16. So, how is the graph? What is the domain and range going to be? So, domain is going to be minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. It is going to be all integers. We are not talking about real numbers here. We are talking about integers. They have given x belongs to r, correct? So, in that way, we are talking about, in, they have given integers, but it belongs to all real numbers. So, this is going to be all real numbers. And your range, the range going to be, when I write it in the set builder form, I will have y equals x square, such that x belongs to real numbers. So, it is going to be the square of the numbers. So, if graph, how will the graph look like? So, I have my y axis and my x axis, y. So, my value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I will just write the squares 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on and these are all going to be my negative values and so on. So, you understood. So, if 0, 0, then I have 1, 1, then I have 2, 4, I have 3, 9, I have 4, 16 and so on. So, in the bottom of it is going to be minus values. So, it is going to raise something like this. So, your graph is going to look like an upward parabola that passes through the 0, 0. Okay. So, this is what your graph looks like. Okay, please copy. Example 14, draw the graph of the function f r to r defined by f of x equals x cube. So, you have x and f of x. When the value of x is 0, it is going to be 0. 1, it is going to be 1. 2, it is going to be 2 into 2 into 2, which is going to be 8. Then I have 3. 3, 3 is 9. 9, 3 is 27. 4, 4, 4 are 16, 16, 4 are 64 and so on and you have the negative values also. So, how do you draw the graph? This is what your graph is going to look like. So, you have 1, 1, 2, 8, you have 3, 27 and goes on, okay? And you have the negative values also. So this is how your f of x equals x cube graph looks like, okay? Exam, just take 2 to 3 values, draw a graph. You won't have such questions in the exam, but just know how to draw a graph. Okay, then moving on to the next function, rational functions, rational and you have a numerator and a denominator and the denominator should not be a zero. Okay, so this is all very, very basic questions. Now, example 15. So, I have defined the real function, real valued function, real valued and only the range belongs to 
real numbers or subset of real numbers. Okay, so defined by f of x equals one by x. Complete the table given below using this definition. What is the domain and range of the function? So what is my function going to be? F of x equals one divided by x. So whatever my value of x is, if x is equal to minus two, abina, it is going to be one divided by minus two. One by two and nine is going to be zero point five. So zero point five with a minus sign. So this is going to be zero point five minus zero point five. Then one divided by one point five. So this you do it like this. So you have. 10 divided by 15. Five table approach na. Two divided by three. Three divided by two is going to give me 0. Point. So in that case, zero kota three six are 18. So I have 0.666. So 0.666 with a negative sign. Okay, this will be minus one. So if one divided by 0.5 and na into 10 divided by 10. So this is going to be 10 divided by five, which is going to be two. So this is going to be minus two. One divided by 0.25. So into 100 into 100. What am I basically doing? Denominator level three decimal point. I'm making it into a whole number instead of a decimal number. Correct? Ah. So I have 100 divided by 25. So this is going to be four. So four. One divided by 0.5. This again going to be two. One. Then this is again going to be 0.66. One divided by two is again going to be 0.5. Okay. So and this is how my graph looks like. So now, what is the domain and the range of the function? So if a domain is a domain is going to be. What do you see here? What are all the values of x? It is going to be minus two, minus 1.5, minus one. Except zero. Correct. One by x. Now the denominator cannot be a zero. The domain and the range. They have already given it in the question. The domain is going to be all real numbers except zero, and the range is going to be all real numbers. Correct. So what do you have? Domain is going to be all real numbers, and range is also going to be everything except zero. You see the graph, except zero, so minus zero, and the range is also going to be all real numbers except zero. In the my minus quota, it means that zero is not included. The element zero is not included. Okay, even from the graph, you can see that zero is not included in the graph. Your graph just deviates from zero. Correct? Okay, please copy. Next function is the modulus function. Modulus function na na modulus x kulla. In that case, whatever value of x you put, any negative number you put, it becomes a positive number. Any positive number you put, it remains positive. Correct? So your value is going to be x when x is greater than or equal to zero and minus x when x is less than zero. So if x greater than zero na na to, I can take x is equal to one in which co. The value is going to be x itself. So f of x is going to be one itself. When x is less than zero, for example, if I have minus one, my f of x is going to be minus x. So it is going to be minus of minus one. So this is again going to be one. So any positive or negative number that you take, it is going to be a positive number itself, positive real number. So you see from the graph that there is nothing on the bottom side of the x-axis, no negative values. Okay, only positive values. Y-axis la positive values. Matunda no negative values. So what is your domain going to be? Domain is going to be all real numbers. Obviously, you can take all positive numbers, all negative numbers. So domain is going to be all real numbers. But range is going to be only positive real numbers. So how can you represent that real number with a plus sign? Only positive real numbers. You don't see any negative numbers on the y-axis. In the minus two, minus four, na kare yar. Correct? Y-axis la you are dealing only with positive values on the y-axis. You see, only positive values. Okay? Please copy. Moving on to the signum function. Signum function na na the function is defined in such a way that whatever value of x that is greater than zero, your value is going to be one. Whenever the value of x is less than zero, it is going to be one. What happens at zero? It is going to be zero. So in that la, what do you see? See that here I have a hollow circle and here I have a dotted circle. Hollow circle na na to hollow circle means it is not included. Okay, I've told this many times. If you had watched my previous videos, you'll know. Okay, hollow circle na not included. Dotted circle means it's included. Correct? So this particular point, this particular point is included, and these points are not included. So when the value of x is zero, it is not going to be one. It is going to be zero. Zero point one length. It is going to take the value from here. Correct? Okay, so this is the meaning. This is a signum function. You just have to learn such functions just to know what they are. Okay, f of x equals mod x divided by x. That is the definition. You can also write it this way. Mod x na it is going to be only positive. Denominator can become negative and positive when you are putting positive and negative numbers. Correct? The greatest integer function. You already learned this in a lot of chapters. So greatest integer function na na the same thing. So whenever your value is going to be a zero, it is going to be zero itself. In that case, value of one abdi na when x value is one. Your y value is going to be one. When x value is two, your y value is going to be two. Apo one and two ke naru la until one point nine 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 nine. The value is going to be one itself. Two vanda aada it will jump to the next level. This is called the step graph. Step ko mar rakla, padi mar rakla. So aada la here when the value is two, x value is two, my y value is also going to be two. When my x value is three, my y value is also going to be three. But whatever the values that are between two and three, they are going to be two itself. No change. Two point nine 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 nine. Very cool. It is going to be two only. Okay. So this is the value meaning of greatest integer function. It assumes the value of the greatest integer. In the greatest integer, we call that as the value. Okay.